Right, so hey guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So today we're going to be creating a keylogger using Python. First of all, let's create a folder called keylogger and inside we're going to create a new file obviously which is also going to be called um, uh, main because that's where the main program for the keylogger is going to be stored and we're going to change the extension to py which is a Python file. So let's open it in the editor and we'll start coding. So first of all, what we're going to be using is the pyinput um, module which will allow us to um, use the logger as well as the key um, sub-modules within the module. We'll be using them both to capture the different events from the user which is, um, for example, the keyboard events which are the main events we'll be capturing. And then once we've captured the keyboard events, we'll also be saving them to a text file. So as we see right here, what we've just done is with from the module, we've imported certain stuff that we need. So we've imported the key and the listener. And we've also imported a different module called logging. That's what we that's the main module that's going to help us convert the um, characters from the keyboard into actual readable words. Now what we're going to move on and do is create a log directory. This is where the um, log file with all the key keystrokes that we're going to press is going to be saved. For me, I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. So as you see right here, I've just created a directory and stated that I want it to be saved on my desktop. So moving ahead, we're going to be configuring the logging module. This is by creating a basic config where we're going to specify the different things that are needed. So first of all, we're going to say what the file name and the location is going to be for the um, log. So we're going to set the file name to the log directory, which we just set a second ago, which is my desktop. And then we're going to name the file keylog.txt, which is where the logs are going to be saved from the user. Also, what we're going to do next is um, set the level, which is going to be uh, logging.debug. This is basically going to state that we want to capture keystrokes from the user. Um, there's also other levels that we could use, but I'm not going to get into that since we're only sticking to this tutorial for now. Next, we want to create a basic function called onPress. Oops, got a mistake there. Um, so in this function, what we're going to do is create a variable called key, and then the key is going to store the um, value of the keystroke that has been captured. So now we want to move ahead and um, use logging.info and then convert the information that is being passed into a string and then store it into key. The variable key is later we're going to be called in the statement below where we're going to start a kind of a loop. So we're going to say um, while the listener is running um, and then we're going to run the on press function so that and then we're going to equal it to itself, which means it's running. And then we're going to capture the variable called key later on. Now that we've got that done, we're going to use the listener. And then we're going to ask it to join the value that it's capturing into the onPress function, which we've already stated above. So now that we've done everything, we're going to run the program. And then as you see right here, I'm typing a line above in the shell. And then this should automatically be keylogged and then entered into the text file that should be generated on my desktop too. So if we minimize now, um, we're going to go ahead and as you see right here, we have a keylog.txt file. I'm going to maximize that. And as you see, all the keystrokes that we captured after the program was running have been logged into the text file. Anyway, guys, that was it for today's tutorial. I hope I was able to help. Please make sure to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.